Good afternoon, class. I'm Dr. Robert Pelley. I'm going to be teaching your asynchronous class for this summer session of Principles of Microeconomics. I'm going to spend just a few minutes going through. This is going to be your video uh, for the syllabus and spend just a few minutes going through the, the syllabus. It's from my perspective, it's pretty straightforward, fairly self-explanatory. There are going to be a couple of things I want to make sure everybody's on the same page with. But the bottom line is trying to provide information for you as a student to build a toolbox, a toolbox that you can use concepts that we go over in, in this microeconomics class to either um, maximize your academic standing or maximize your academic capabilities, or maybe more importantly, to uh, improve your human capital uh, with con with concepts and content that you can use once you get out into the workforce to make yourself a more value uh, employee or more value resource to whichever type of, of industry you go to work for, whichever company you go to work for. And as you as, and again, I've got a secondary screen over here I'm going to be looking at back and forth. But uh, as you go down through the the syllabus. And, and again, the video, the syllabus, like everything else, is going to be loaded to Canvas. And uh, once I get everything up and loaded, I'll send everybody email out so uh, you can jump in and start to work on it. But uh, the, the text we're going to use for this class is Principles of Microeconomics. It's by Rittenberg, Grant, and Tregarthen. And you can, or you can purchase it if you'd like to from Flat World Publishing. Um, purchasing the, the Text is not mandatory. However, I do think it's a very good text for a principles like a beginning uh, microeconomics class. They uh, provide information in a very straightforward format. They have some up to date uh, examples that that I find that I have found, I guess, enables a student to take and tie the theory and the empirical research maybe that we go through in class tied to like present day uh, applications and it, it works really good. I, I, I like the way Flat World approaches it. They will give you multiple options. You can have an ebook, you can get the text you want. Um, but given this class, uh, and since it is a summer session, I would suggest if you're gonna purchase that, I'd suggest going the, the ebook route. And there's gonna be a link over here in your syllabus that you can click on and then go and then purchase it through that uh, ebook route. Um, again, it's it's an online asynchronous class. You're here, you know, you're able to work at your own pace. Um, if it were in, and when you look at the syllabus, the timelines with the modules I've got set in it, um, it's going to be a little different than if you were taking this microeconomics class in a standard semester, because during the standard semester, I'm assigning a module to a week. Uh, unfortunately, when you're talking about uh, this this summer and it's 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 this May semester session, and we're talking about 20 days, and you're talking about a very compact uh, time frame that that you as a student are going to have to function in. So I don't have anything divided out by uh, by week. Uh, you're you're going to have to stay focused and remain focused and then and accept the responsibility of going through and completing. There's going to be, um, I think in this one, there's going to be two quizzes. There's going to be a midterm. There's going to be a final. And there's going to be some video comments that we'll get to in a few minutes. But uh, you've only got about 20 days to work through this. Starts on May the 8th. You have to have everything completed for me on May the 27th by midnight so I can turn around and post your grades by noon on May the 28th. So. That's the kind of kind of deadline we're all looking at. You as a student are looking at, you know, getting everything done between May the 8th and May the 27th. And then it's my responsibility as your professor to get your grades posted on by noon on May the 28th. So that's why I've got that deadline of midnight on May the 27th. And you'd have everything done because I will get up first thing on um, the morning of May the 28th to start calculating your grades and uh, getting your grades ready, your final grades ready to send to um, the registrar. Uh, the syllabus as, as we as, as, as we look at it, uh, 
put that off the screen. Simple as you look at it, there's, uh, I think I've got it set up. There's going to be 13 chapters to go through. Um, and again, a, a very, um, a very compact uh, schedule, very compact requirements uh, for those of you uh, that that decide to to purchase the textbook. Um, you can go through and you know you're talking about you know not hardly reading a chapter a day, but um, when it comes to microeconomics or economics just in general, sometimes the reading can be a little dry. One thing I like about these flat world texts is they, they try to make their reading as interesting as possible, given the content of the material that you have to get through. Um, I have had some students that, uh, you know, were in the past that have foregone, the, you know, purchasing the text. I do provide for each chapter. I provide some class notes and I have recorded some videos uh, on this uh, group of, 13 chapters, I think there's a total of 55 videos out there for you to watch. And a lot of students have decided that, you know, rather than rather than purchasing a text, they may want to go the route of, of watching the videos, taking notes from the videos, and then the combination of the notes they get from the videos, and, you know, in combination with those class notes that I post out there on Canvas for each of the modules, one module each was a chapter, uh, they do. They have been able to do exceedingly well. Um, there's, you know, something three, four, maybe five videos for some chapters, depending on how complicated I thought the chapters were. And there's going to be a, a review video for quiz one, a review video for your midterm, review for quiz two, and then a review video for your for your final exam. And definitely. <laughs> watch those review videos because I try to um, direct you to the material that I think is most important that you study for either of the quizzes or the midterm or the final. Uh, there's going to be 100 points in the class. There's you know uh, 10 points for each quiz, so there's 20 points of your grade. 30 points for the midterm and 30 points for the final. So there's another 60, I'd get you up to 80 points. And then the last 20 points, and to me, they're the easiest 20 points to attain, even though some students can't get their arms around it, is going to be based on the video comments. And the way the video comments work, I take the number of, of videos that you actually watch and provide a comment for, you post a comment for those videos. And when you post a comment, whatever you do, make sure you sign your first and last name because in YouTube on these, YouTube on these videos, uh, the analytical aspect of YouTube, it won't count your comments in the video unless your first and last name is signed to the comment. So uh, if you're, let's, let's say, you'll say you're John Smith. So you're going to go in each of these 55 videos. You're going to watch them. You're going to put a comment in, you know, here's something I've learned. Here's something I, I liked about the video or something I didn't like about the video. Um, and you're going to sign your name, John Smith. And then at the end of the, at the end of the class, so on the morning of May the 28th, I'm going to get in and I'm going to go into YouTube into the analytics section and I'm going to search for John Smith. And then I'm going to tabulate all of the videos that John Smith watched and provided comments for based on John Smith signing the comments, John Smith, because that's the way YouTube is going to search for them. And so the way that the potential 20 points for your video will be cap or video comments will be calculated, it's going to take the number of videos that you watched and commented on divided by 55, because that's the total number of videos that I have posted out for this class. And then whatever that ratio is, multiplied by 20, because there are 20 potential points on the video comments. And that's going to get your final number, the tabulate the final number that you're going to accrue for the video comments. So let's say you watch uh, 55, 55, Let's say you watch 28 videos. So 28 videos divided by 55, that's going to get you a ratio of about 
0.5 times 20, that's going to get you a total score of 10. If you watch half the 55 videos, you'll get 10 out of a possible 20 points to go towards your final grade. And the thing I want you to understand as students is the video comments are not extra credit. The video comments are a, a portion of your final grade. It's just like a 20 point quiz or a 20 point test. Uh, unfortunately, I've had some students in the past that um, have, and I had an individual that at one point that had taken the quizzes and taken the midterm and taken the final, and, and that individual had only missed two questions. So, you know, at that point in time, that individual had um, 78 out of the possible 80 points for the class. However, that individual decided and it was their decision that they weren't going to answer, they weren't going to uh, comment on any of the videos. And so I had to deduct the 20 points. So that individual went from, went from receiving an A for the class to receiving a 78 for the class because they didn't get any comment, any points on the comments. And so the individual goes from an A to a C plus. And unfortunate, and I, I tried to get the individual to, to review and to comment on the videos, and, and they just absolutely refused. They didn't want to. Didn't have to. It was their decision. And you know, it, at some point in time, as a student, it, it's your responsibility, uh, your decision on whether to, to watch and comment on the videos. But um, best case scenario, if you don't watch those videos, you're going to start you know, with a minus 20 on your total points. It's, I just can't stress uh, the fact of how important it is to watch and, and comment on those videos. Uh, and then the, the grade legend is also going to be here on uh, your syllabus. And it's, you know, it's pretty standard, you know, grade legend, you know, 95 to 100 is an A, you know, 90 to 94 is a B, an A minus and, and so on. Uh, there's also some information in here uh, that I put into the syllabus that is supposedly standard across Fisk University. So uh, talking about, you know, reasonable combinations, dropping and adding, plagiarism, things like that. So, um, and so at, at this point, that's all I really have. Like I said, this, this uh, syllabus is pretty straightforward. It outlines everything you need to do. It uh, talks about the 13 chapters that we're going to go through. Um, and we're going to go through a lot of uh, information that, that you would expect to go through when you're going through a microeconomics class. Um, you're going to go through theory of the firm. You're going to go through choice. You're going to go through the different types of markets, um, supply and demand, you know, the impacts of supply and demand, how so, you know, applications of supply and demand. So it's pretty straightforward for a micro class. Again, flat world, the great text. It, you know, it, I personally like it or, I hadn't, or wouldn't have chosen it for you as a student. But um, it, it's up to you as whether you purchase the text or not. And again, I've had some students in the past, maybe not a lot, but some students in the past that, have foregone the text and just studied the, the notes that I load onto each module in Canvas and they watch all the videos and they comment on the videos and they've done extremely well. They, they've been at that AA minus level uh, just based on that without reading the text. So um, it, it's entirely up to you as, as a student on how you want to approach it. You know what you're most comfortable with. You know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Um, and with that, uh, the other thing, if, if you have, because since it's asynchronous, we're not going to be meeting. Uh, but if you need, if you have questions, you can reach out to me through that Bulldog mail. You can reach out to me um, through Canvas, and I'll be more than happy to set up, you know, some Zoom meetings with you. And we, you know, if you've got questions, we'll walk through it. And with that, um, I hope you enjoy the class. Talk to everybody later.